Hello and welcome to the fourth installment of Eclipse Pro Wrestling. I am your host, David Scheller, joined by none other than Steven Anderson. It's good to be here in Montreal, Canada. Indeed. Home of some of the most famous wrestlers in the world. Fourth installment. Indeed, opening the night, of course, with none other than Lady Hawk taking to the microphone. Not on her mind, given the events of the last shows that we've done so far, she's had run in with. Uh, Hey. Indeed. Shouldn't be long now until we head down to the ring. Just uh, the week before last. was at the end of that match that interfere I mean uh Bainsville was down at the match for sure so was a clear win by the slimmest of margins of course getting that submission just as the boot was coming down. It was a DQ or if it was a submission. Indeed. <clears throat> Lady Hawk, of course, looking confident as she addresses the audience here tonight. Yeah, you could definitely sense uh, there's definitely uh, maybe reserved is the word uh, persona. Definitely, I agree with you on that, David. Oh no, Shayna Baszler is making her way down to the ring. What? Well, I can't say I'm surprised because of, of, of these two. Of course, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. Appreciate everyone. Absolutely. Pro Wrestling. Here we are tonight in Montreal. Oh God. Already getting, you would not be surprised to see these two come to blows right here, right now. I'm surprised that Shayna Baszler has actually been as controlled as she is because it's all lead talk and not even go for a mic. Maybe Shayna Baszler's got a point to prove. <clears throat> Well, you know, last week, <coughs> um, Liv Morgan and, and to 
this point, it's only a matter of time until they will glide. Indeed, I may be called to the back at some stage. Fair enough. Steven Ensign may be the only presenter for a short period of time, but that will not be too long as the action will be continued. Appreciate all you guys for tuning in. Currently seeing that six viewers. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you all for joining. Now is the time, is the place for the best wrestling action on Twitch Eclipse Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Laughing at the uh, expression there by Lady Hawk just a few It's just a matter of time. These are like having two angry dogs, both on leashes, just... Mm. Both these women claiming dominance of the ring. Oh, no, the microphone to the face. There you have it. They're kicking off here now. Jesus, Shayna Baszler. Tearing at the arm there. Very interesting to see who Lady Hawk able to recover, delivering a brutal forearm to the face in the corner there, returning the snap down on the arm. Very well executed by Lady Hawk. Going for that arm a second time there. The referee finally intervening, but of course these two, it's official, will come to blows next week in a stipulation chosen by the community. That poll will be going up after the show. <clears throat> Indeed. Now we move on to our first official matchup of the night. Bobby will actually take you on TJC. <laughs> this is going to be one hell of a match. Now. He is sort of wanting to redefine what is expected. Industry, and he's going right after sort of the cream of the crop, if you will, when it comes to uh, It's going to be one hell of a fight. Indeed. The Dominator versus the Aussie Assassin. <laughs> Definitely, you know, TJC um, just to make up for uh, that Like I said, 6'3", 273 pounds for Indeed. <clears throat> Very interesting to see how the match will pan out, especially in the early stages. I mean, I think it's very possible that whatever happens in the early definitely will probably uh, set the table or to be, um, unless there's some kind of miracle turn. Bobby Lashley tell you there's some records in the industry obviously um TJC is going to definitely have have a, a big hill to climb in this match here tonight. Indeed, coming into the ring slowly. 
<clears throat> Cuts an intimidating presence even without the muscle mass. Absolutely so. And that's as quo of what is or what isn't a fierce competitor. And I think he's so far, you know, doing a pretty good job of that. Definitely uh, an eerie sort of almost morose-like presence that he They go on their feet, ready for some action here tonight. Indeed. Just about to get into it. <clears throat> Whoa. Wow. TJC pulling out the clothesline. He ought to put down. Coming out of the gate, guns blue. Seems like he's almost determined to match power for power with Bobby Lashley. Yeah. Handling him, picking him up, and, and, and maneuvering him. Yeah, I agree. Definitely matching his power. Wow. It's a good, uh, Seem that Lashley has found a bit of a reprieve here, being able to bring some fight to TJC. I'm telling you, so some of the, the maneuvering and execution. Indeed. Of course, using that clothesline to deadly effect so far, only. Yeah, doing the match. <clears throat> Just saw one there by Bobby Lashley, but um, they're being effective. Ooh, there you go, some out. Thank you everyone for tuning in. What's Got up? A double Boston Crab in. Yeah, thanks for. I think this is exactly what we want. <clears throat> really holding his own in this match against Bobby Lashley. Um, bringing the fight to him, coming out guns blazing at the beginning of this match. And while we've seen Bobby Lashley um, also hold his own, TJ. Side now, it seems like TJC is not content to handle this purely in the ring. Yeah, once things get on the outside of the ring, things get a the ring. Here, <clears throat> TJC's better. Oof. Oh. A combination of punches here now. <clears throat> Let 
Yeah, definitely. definitely bleeding under that headband of his now. <clears throat> We we're going to see a belly to belly there, and he just literally. TGSC dragging Lashley to the center of the ring. Could be looking for something here. Oh, the TJ Cutter. Very well executed by TJC. He was waiting for him, waiting for the right opportunity. Ring position's just right. And that is all she wrote with TJC picking up the win. I gotta say, that was a good fight. Now have to continue on with the monumental matchups we have tonight for you. Gord Schaller and Anderson at the desk. We have the Sir in action against a local competitor. I think. Going up against the likes of the Sir. I believe management made quite a bet with the young man, saying that if he could overcome the Sir in this match, he would be granted permanent status with Eclipse for wrestling. <laughs> going up against a bigger name, like in this case, the Sir, there's always a lot to prove and a lot to gain. Just a bang for your buck here if he's going to be offered a sign. Well, looking... Sorry, I forgot he was a local competitor on top. I was meant to tell them to cut that. Oh. No entrance for him. All good, all good. Oh. Of course, the roll. And now, the Comet Champion, inaugural and current, the Sir. Yeah, wearing it well and. Coming, coming down here with a lot of confidence. He's every reason to be confident. Love the design of the Comet Championship. Not only that, also with his custom side plates as well. Now part of the addition. Hey, I see those side plates because they're matching his outfit very well. Fans loving the fanfare right now here in Montreal. I love it. Indeed. The way that the Slade Wilson, down. also known as the Shredder, making his intentions quite well known about the champion. I definitely we agree. We will see the two of them coming to blows in the future. He has made his intentions towards him. Um, I think it's only a matter of time until we see those two paths. Of 
entrance. The Comet champion. A lot to prove here tonight. A message to send to Slade Wilson. Great opening maneuvering there. Oh no, already going for this Chicago Skyliner. Come on, ref, do your job. And the sir picks it up. Three moves. Three moves, you guys. That's three moves if you in that's that's three moves if you include the Irish whip. <laughs> I feel bad for that local competitor, but um you know what? I think that that performance right there by the serve is just a testament to the Comet Championship. Indeed, be very interesting to see what Slade Wilson has to say on that. Anyway, I just have to head to the back, so it will be you solo just for the next couple minutes. No problem. I got this. We got. It's gonna be many. Tagagi. At five foot ten inches, two hundred and twenty pounds. And oh, I don't have any face heels. Pretty confident that he's got a hike and then. Along with that height advantage over of Eclipse Pro Wrestling. actual match of the night. Montreal, Canada. Pro wrestling. Fourth installment. I've always liked that mask. <laughs> it's very, uh, reminds me of a certain. a lot about him, you know, um, which can be deceiving too, because the way one paces outside of the ring, you know, outside, walk as he entered the ring there, obviously the fans here in Montreal, Now coming down the ring, coming down the aisle.
And like I said, I mean, you can tell already, right? I mean, he definitely has a muscle mass advantage over Shingo Tagagi. I mean, both these men, when they made their ring entrance, there's still something so clear as day, and that's that both of these competitors are ready for a We've already seen TJC versus Bobby Lashley as our opening bout after Layhawk. Uh, Obviously, just destroying that local guy. Here. Many face steel versus Shingo Takagi. Many face steel using it. So, okay, yeah. I, I, uh, the height advantage is as but there's definitely a size advantage there that he has that he's leveraging. sort of control the pace of this match up to this point. Men face heel. Jingo Tagami's really been playing catch up. Face Hill really doing a good job staying on top of Shiga Tagagi in this matchup so far. Again, it's it, it, there is. Not been in a, this has been a very good how I say uh, Really kind of showing off or showcasing his repertoire, his move set, if you will. And this matchup has been very beautifully uh, executed. Gonna be strong. Oh! Well, I would not be taking those breaks. Those clotheslines are definitely, uh, uh, oh, At this point, it's really been all MFH. And another one by Money Face Heel. Ball in the corner of the ring there. <clears throat> Uh, 
look at the crowd, the fans on their feet. Another killer clothesline there. A many faced heel. Definitely the showing of his physical. This one. This is a two and a half. The small package. Canada for the fourth installment of Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Again, thank you all for being here. We are seeing many face heel or MFH going up against Shingo Takagi right now for our third actual match of tonight's card. And it has been one hell of a fight. Heel. But, uh, but Takagi is still in this match. Holding his own as best he can. Ah. Another very close hit at ten, two and a half. And then see, I think many face heal, you know. And there you have it. Oh, wait a minute. Is that not three? He kicked out of that. I thought he had it. I thought he had it. Unbelievable. I thought he had it. Wow. Oh man, I cannot believe this. I really thought that he had the three count. And then he comes with that small package and look, she goes. I have a, a little offense to drive there. Or may kind of regain the pace of the match and that's successfully done by MFH here. Wow, I'm still in shock. I, I really thought he had the Oh, hit although, although, <laughs> did anybody else see that? <laughs> I saw Shingo's uh, he got his foot on the rope, but I don't think that the referee saw it. Obviously, that's okay. you know that is what it is. That match was called. That MFH got the pin anyway. Congratulations. I swear I thought, I swear I thought Skaggy's foot was on the rope. That's it. You love to see the re mutual respect shown by uh, Shinga Skaggy and, and many faced. We have another great, this is, this is going to be one hell of a match. So, last week we saw David Wise go up against Adam Cole. Our contendership. And he pretty much dominated that fight. When I say uh, uh, the title, I'm talking about the uh, who will face David Wise for the Eclipse World Championship. Both 
with these men's uh, track records. Uh, O'Connor Gray, six three. I'm sorry, six feet three inches. Without saying, it's going to be a very, uh, at least from a physical perspective, even fought match. Obviously, for very, I would call it a short martial, mixed martial arts career in the Walter White division. A, a legend himself, he, the man's been wrestling, uh, let's see, uh, he, geez, he debuted back in the early 2000s. Love his... I always love Okada's ring gear, his, uh, his coats. Because it's, it's, it's not too flashy. And finally, I am back from having management chew out my ear. Oh, sorry to hear that, but welcome back, David. So, I was catching that match with Shingo Tsugagi, Jesus Christ, many faced heel dominating in that match. That's what I was saying, it was a great moonset. Indeed, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in this long, you know, I just took about a 10 minute break, but... Hey, that's Shelley, okay. Shella Anson at the desk, CM Punk coming down to the ring. About this match, right? How was the how I talked about last week and David Wise going up to his dad, Cole? He who will be David Wise's indeed, both these men's quite recognized with David Wise, Ricardo having a match with him on pay per view. And Punk previously being set for a similar fate. But due to complications was no longer possible. What a hell of a fight between these two. I am, I've been excited for it since I saw it on the card. Okada already bringing out the semi rainmakers here. I'm out, guns blazing. There In here, as we watch our number one contender matchup for the Eclipse World Championship between Okada and CM Punk. Indeed, the first of three number one contender matches here tonight. <laughs> That's right. That is right. That's right. We have three number one contendership matches. Well, you know, we're this is our fourth show, and so there is, you know. There's justification for that, right? Indeed, and if anyone missed the announcement previously, will be a fatal four-way for the women's title on pay-per-view. I can only imagine, and only one entrant being named here tonight. Yep. And yeah. that also a fatal four way. Yep, that's gonna be later on tonight in the card. It's gonna be one hell of a matchup. 
I'm looking for that one. That's, that's going to be a... Uh, that, that match is going to be a fun call, I'll tell you that. That's going to be a fun one to watch. Oh, CM Punk being spiked there. To be honest, I've been looking forward to all three number one contingent matches here tonight. Of course, this one here could very well go to the distance. But Kota Ibushi and Chris Cruz in yep. the battle of the cleaners, greatest admirers and friends. And we've got the fatal four-way. Alexa Bliss is trying to recover from her loss to Little M earlier in the broadcasts. Bliss versus Bailey versus Tennille Dashwood versus Ember Moon. Of course, if Alexa Bliss can be entered into a number one contendership match, what do you think that means for Lil M? M is on the outside looking in regardless of what kind of happens with Alexa Bliss in that match, although that number one contendership, I think she's gonna have that contendership. So there's gonna be a bullet on the back or a bullseye on the back of her head. I mean, given the little Little M actually has a win over Alexa Bliss, someone who's going into a contendership match. I can only imagine that would mean that she is surely set for a contendership opportunity. Well, absolutely. I mean, in our, in our girl card, Little M beat Alexa Bliss. So, to your point, Alexa Bliss gets this contendership. Well, wait a minute. Hey, I beat you. So, you're absolutely right. Not only that, I've been informed that Lady Hawk vs. Shayna Baszler with the community poll stipulation will be the second contendership match. Oh! So, okay, so that is going. Well, they'll be facing the winner of this Fatal 4-Way, the right. winner of Lady Hawk right. versus Shayna Baszler, and two other competitors on pay-per-view. Ah! Thanks for clarifying. So a 4-Way tonight and a Fatal 4-Way on pay-per-view. If you will, of the roster in the women's division that are wrestling, That's going to be some quality action. Just like what we're seeing here between CM Punk. Indeed. These two are just going ham at it right now. CM Punk looking to rally. Uh, it, it's been a good match, but um, you know what I see now is that re really good offensive drive from CM Punk. That's what I like to call offensive drives. Indeed, that diving elbow could that be lights out for Ricardo? The diving elbow. Wow! CM Punk is your victor. He outperformed with that flying elbow over to the chest. <laughs> now to face David Wise for the Eclipse World Championship. Indeed, CM Punk, David Wise set to go head to head. Will they have to defend their contendership?
Don't know just yet, but certainly a possibility. We do know that Dijak had to defend his contendership after winning it in the first week, only to lose it to Tommaso Omega. Who will be facing the winner of this next matchup? Very potentially. And that is what I'd call a segue. Absolutely. Kota Bushi, as you mentioned, number one contendership matches. Second. One, two, three. three. Getting a pinfall of number one contendership matches. This is for contendership for the Solar Championship. Indeed. Of course, Kota Ibushi now becoming the Dark Star, facing off with Chris Cruz, also known as the Janitor. So he's a light guy. What is he, like 205 pounds? Don't let Chris Cruz fool you. Man sits at 6'6 six, six and is a dominant heavyweight. So, okay, I just looked it up. So, yeah, 5'11. Somebody like Chris Cruz, who you said is at 6'6. Six, six. And. Uh... You're going to have the longer leverage with your leg. You're going to have the longer leverage with your arm. Right around that. Of course, these two having probably two of the most tremendous entrances in Eclipse Pro. The Dark Star making his way to the ring. Montreal saw their feet, and then I completely understand why. Someone you hate so badly that you can't help to love them. I know that. Yeah, the, emo the, the emotions of hate and love are like right next to each other. So <laughs> it's quite it's quite the horseshoe bend of emotions. Now, Chris Cruz, all lights, all flash. This is an example of flash. Chris Cruz definitely, as you mentioned earlier, with his, uh, you know, with his track record, the man is it speaks for himself. course hailing from part of the Commonwealth as well although England not Canada looks confident leading into this matchup on the face even though with the shades it definitely very very confident coming into this ring right now as he enters this fight. Yep. <laughs> Let's light this candle. Literally throwing, tossing Coda Bushi in. like a Coda perhaps not taking to it the same amount of glee. Let's bring it back. Coda Bushi having almost no trouble with the weight differential. I was gonna say the way that he just super. That he's 
he's uh, not to be underestimated. It's been a back and forth so far between these. Of course, Cody Bushi ever since becoming the Dark Star never lost the intensity, just picked it up. Great maneuvering. Previously. to the outside using the ropes to leverage himself back up and just sent barreling you can see that that had a clear effect on Two. Three. oh no Chris Cruz going to the top rope now, not often you've seen a man of his size doing that. Oh, just a huge moonsault. Yeah, from a guy who's six six, Chris Cruz landing that super, landing that moonsault perfectly. Up for the pin, though. <clears throat> Solid near fall. Oh no, what is Kotobushi doing here? And the overhead. Oh! Putting <laughs> a near fall there as well. Part <laughs> in the in the MFH match where I actually thought MFH had the win. I I miscounted. I was I was like, that's it. Oh no, it's not. Oh, the Dark Star Fall. Kota Ibushi. Is it enough? Damn, only getting the one count there. Yeah, just just one. But you know what? Good for him for staying on. Not the wrong thing to do. You know, he... Ooh. Oh no, again with the, oh, what is that, rolling handspring into the, oh, me. oh god, devastating spinning back heel, Cruz with that before he landed that too, on his chin there kind of, The way that he executed that Chris Cruz was very stealth to me. Oh. Definitely been this has been a very good difference with Chris Cruz. The match has been absolutely phenomenal. Both men uh, really kind of showcasing what they're capable of doing, obviously, but between the likes of each other. Oh! Oh, God. Super kicking him out of mid-air. Yep. Right into it, too. Right. I mean... Well, 
done. I mean, I don't know why he didn't go for a pin attempt there, to be honest with you. I mean, Coda's not moving there. Madness. <laughs> Jeez. Super kick for super kick. Dang. And, and Abushi gets is the win. All she wrote as Kota Abushi, the Dark Star, is now your number second number one contender to the solar championship yeah. uh, Chris Cruz definitely rocked after hitting his head on the turnbuckle after that super kick I think that's probably what cost him being able to kick out of the pinfall there However, we do have our third fall, <laughs> no, no, not our third fall, our third number one contendership match, obviously, and it is for the Lunar Championship in a fatal four-way. Earlier in, in, in her history with the lab, but she's going up against this fatal four-way versus Bailey versus... Indeed. Of course, all these women doing besides Alexa Bliss, who is one, zero and one. You know, we were talking about Alexa Bliss in her debut, where she lost against Little Lamb in the inaugural show. As we now begin to head to the ring, I believe the goddess Alexa Bliss is going to be making her way down first. Bliss, again, you know, the lens going to be watching this fight. I don't doubt any minute of it. She's always so confident. Gotta love it. Gotta admire it. Nothing wrong with that. And again, as you mentioned, but we, you know, when we would see Lady Hawk versus um, go at it in a subsequent card, and that will all lead now to Neil Dashwood making her way down to the ring. Again, this is for the number one contendership for the Lunar Championship. Indeed. And speaking about Lunar, we can finally announce the name of our debut pay-per-view. It will be none other than New Moon. New Moon! It's appropriate. It fits. Because as we are, as 
the celestial cycle renews, we renew ourselves, being a brand new promotion. Absolutely. A new beginning. for the exception of Alexa Blitzer, all in all, <coughs> making their debuts here. A lot of former champions. And removing all holding championships um, of some kind. I know Tennille Dashwood has, but they were in the Indies. I'm not entirely sure where. A lot of gold all around, no doubt. All these ladies, all these competitors, I should say, definitely show it. It's just... You know, just very confident they're going into smack with the right foot forward. I, I'm looking for this to be a potential match tonight, to be honest with you. Just okay, now, Ember Moon making her way to the ring just as we tick over the first hour of broadcast. Love her ring presence, love her entryway, or love her entrance. Again, par for the course when you're talking about the other three competitors in this match. Former NXT Women's Champion. Very evenly mapped, I mean, well, with an exception of some of this, I think he's... But this is going to be a pretty even fought match. Splitting off into the two groups relatively early. Yeah. yeah. No allies really here, but uh, needless to say, you do two. Then we go. Oh. I don't know about much about Neil and the situation right now, but Bailey is not in a good place. <laughs> no DQ, no I... disqualification, no count outs. Here, so pretty much anything goes, and Alex Bliss is using it to her advantage, as you saw there. Goodness. I got to tell you what, so far in this match, I mean, it goes without saying that Alexa Bliss has been the one that is trying to
quite entertaining. Alexa Bliss to the Ash would be Luther's Championship at Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Oh no. Oh, on the stairs. Now, Bailey and Neil on the outside of the ring are definitely doing their own thing there. Obviously, leveraging it. Dude, certainly seems. Alexa Bliss was reportedly angry backstage after her loss, but this seems to be a whole nother level. Lost a little length. I mean, I completely understand. It was the first ever women's match here at Clips Pro Wrestling. Um, you know, it was an embarrassing stage to lose on. I mean, just relentless. a lot of uh, cutthroat maneuvering. Certainly seems that way. Played cards to doubt, right? And that's what she's doing. She's just playing the game as it's set up for her. Oh, so an insult to injury there. Bailey trying to interrupt, but didn't quite glance it. Bailey the first to pick up some of the other weaponry as well. Yep. Absolutely, and I don't blame her. I mean, again, it's just, why not? And now Ember Moon getting involved with it as well. <laughs> Since they've all broken out of their haze and they're all getting involved with it. Daniel Dashwood, <laughs> not looking good. Oh, but able to, okay. All the competitors active in the ring at the moment. Missed by Amber Moon that we saw earlier really paved the way for Alexa Bliss to get her hands back on something. A chair in this case. She's very patient. Bailey is well patient with Neil Dashwood. She sets her. Bailey Nelly had the win there with the belly to Bailey. Well, now you have Alexa. It's when you're in this match and you're going for a pin attempt. So many moving parts, right? Alexa Bliss hits the DDT. Could that be her moment of opportunity? No. Oh, oh, oh. oh that could, because I mean, 
We're stuck on the outside. There still are. Wow. Very well performed by... Very well executed by Alexa Bliss there. Of the you know area around you and the other competitors. Neil almost made a fatal error there. Is it like a box or something? I think that was just swinging a little early and missing the mark. Or the victory, depending on whose perspective you're looking at. Were trying to steal a pin, but Bailey was quite aware of it. I was going to say, surroundings as well, as I mentioned earlier, but you know, admirable for going for the pin attempts, just not able to make it. Back and forth. Alexa Bliss hits the DDT again. One, uh -oh. two, kicks out. Oh, <laughs> opportunity. May be a little too cavalier. That you didn't pay off for. So much going on just then. Wow. I have a lot to digest. Again, with the chance of finding a way to leverage those as to her advantage. It's kind of a, an area where there's... Alright, well, Ember... For a minute, but uh, I like that about how this match. Is Um, she already has a little bit of history here, um, and she's leveraging the lack thereof. So, you know. The ring's been cleared once again. Could that be it? The insult to injury. 
No. Uh, uh, Alexa Bliss has had a couple of attempts, hit attempts, where there's been nobody in the room. Sorry. The Billy now. Take it to Tamil. Another insult to injury. Kicks out once again. It's the DDT, takes care to Neil. And that finally delivers the victory to Alexa Bliss. He's oh. just cerebral in this match. Absolutely. Like I said, she was leveraged from the get go. She was leveraging the no DQ clock. Reasons, method her madness. And I think it was part of the reason she was able to get the victory here, have control of this. So she is the first number one contender for the Lunar yes, Championship. Four, yes. Yeah. And it does make you wonder, like you said earlier at the beginning of this match or before this match kicked off, I should say, you know, Lil Lil has I would be on fire if I was her. You know, that's either here or there, I guess, at this point. Indeed. We'll also be facing off with the winner of Lady Hawk and Shayna Baszler next week. Remember, the stipulation is going to be chosen by a community poll. And will be two of the four competitors in the Fatal 4-Way for the title come New Moon. Definitely looking forward. And now we have our main event, Merrick Nielsen versus Finn Balor. Both these men emanating from the UK. It'll be very interesting to see if power can beat speed here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And speed is the name of the game when it comes to Finn Balor in this case. Uh, you know, 5'11", 190 pounds. Very quickly, so no, no, this is gonna <laughs> as we head to the ring. Um, whether live or on replay, thank you. Indeed. Boss will be going live on YouTube once we've wrapped up here. Appreciate all those that are tuning in. Lots of good action to watch previously on tonight. Absolutely. Merrick Nielsen, ominous in his... Stroll down to the ring. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, hey, you know what? He's got a little bit of confidence in him. 
miles there. Indeed. Was the big competitor? Was the prince with a lot to prove here tonight? Absolutely. Seen a lot of existing talent being taken aback by the next generation. If Finn Balor was to score a win here, would only be the third win for a veteran talent. We had Dijak overcome Tomaso Omega on our first show. Had Kodobushi overcome Chris Cruz just earlier in the broadcast. And now Finn Balor. Could he be number three? Time will tell. It's definitely <clears throat> excuse me, going to be one hell of a main event here. <clears throat> Seems Merrick wants to start it off early. Yeah, Merrick came out, as I say, guns blazing. Perhaps going to the ring post right in front of your opponent wasn't a brilliant idea. Jack it off. I mean, look at the size difference between Merrick and, and Balor. I mean, you could just, it's just... You know, speed. That's the name of the game as here. as big as the size differences we'll probably see on the show. Of course, Cruz and Ibushi was pretty big, but this is... probably one and a half to almost two times that size difference. Yeah. And the muscle mass too in addition to that height so i mean just built very built very well especially when competing against somebody like finn balor here <clears throat> very interesting there if you were watching that drop kick puts it just above center mass to put him over finn balor already got quite a scout on this opponent it seems If he can, um, you know, sustain and outlast. Ooh. Whoa, a flying blockbuster from Merrick there. Very well executed from the size there, at, uh, from the ring apron. Just tearing apart the non-Spanish announce desk. <laughs> well, I'm glad they're doing that instead of ours. 
Oh, I'm I'm up by the stage. I'm not anywhere near because we've got the Spanish announce team down there, and then we've got the spare table because people like to destroy it. So I'm not anywhere near there. Battling out of the arena, it seems. Anywhere that they can go, as long as they can break that pin count, one of the. Jeez, that jumping knee getting all the way to Mary's head. The vertical jump on Balor, that's purely impressive. Seems that Bell has gone into that extra dark place in his mind now. Not the demon, but the prince. At this point. This spling blade, shotgun drop kick. Then coup de gras. And it is end of the night. Ah. Merrick Nielsen. Finn Balor becomes the third. Pick up a win. First in the main event. Hey, you know what? He was able to outpace and out wrestle Merrick, and Balor gets the win. He deserves it. He earned it. Although I do have to say it. Oh no! Fierce! Fierce is here! Alistair Fierce! Is here to attack Bella, of course. They've got some history back in New Japan. Although I don't want to draw any attention to what Merrick Nielsen's doing in the background there, but Fierce and Bella just going ham on each other. You know what the motive is here by fears, but yeah, definitely. And looking at this, Bella really showing off the physical prowess there. Prowess. Jeez, fears just tanking through. The coup de gras there. Not quite the message he was looking to send. Yeah, absolutely not, but uh Indeed now. Um That is the end of the show. That was our main event. I've hoped you all enjoyed the show. Stephen Anson, any last words from you? Indeed. Hope everyone has enjoyed. We'll be back again same time next week. And that has been all. I've been David Scholler. He's been Stephen Anderson. And this has been Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Goodbye and good night.